Hello, this is Brian again. Well, I haven't found the San Mateo Peak Junction sign. Beginning to wonder if I missed it. Actually, I don't even think I can see it from here. That's all the way over towards Boy, Boy Scout Pete and, and Sitting Peak over there. On this large rock right here. Beautiful country out here, but I really don't feel like I'm... I think I might have gone too far on the Morgan Trail. I'm still on it. This is kind of a little weird. And I've been going predominantly downhill. This trail keeps going downhill instead of uphill. Ever since I left that oak woodland, I mean, I haven't seen any signs unless somebody took the sign down and I missed it. I don't know. It's a little disconcerting. You know, I'm not, like, lost in the sense of I'm not going to be able to find my way back to the car. I just follow this trail all the way back. It's just... Am I way off course for trying to get to San Mateo Peak? I don't remember being on the, being on the Morgan Trail for a very long time. I remember there was a nice little woodland, and then boom, there's your uh, little sign that says San Mateo Peak at this little trail junction. There's actually a there's actually a, an old basketball. <laughs> there's a basketball on the ground when I went there, like an old basketball, and I saw hiking guys video and. When I was there, it was deflated, but when he did the video of San Mateo Peak from the Morgan Trailhead, it was reinflated and was on top of a post. So, I might be way off course. I'm actually heading down near where there's some private property down there. There's a little farm or ranch or something down there. So I think, I think I more than missed it. I think I might have overshot it by a huge amount. I think where I where I started the hike down the road from the Morgan Trailhead, that was I think a little bit further of a distance hike than if I had started at the Morgan Trailhead. So, so I kind of had to skirt around a use trail that led towards the Morgan Trail and the Junction Trail to the peak. So, well, this is a little bit more of an adventure than I expected. Yeah. I think the peak is up there somewhere, actually. Oh, why? I way overshot it. I should be going up that way. Wow. <laughs> I don't want to keep going down too much further. I'm going to have a lot of elevation to climb to get back to get back to the Morgan Trail. I don't know what the heck happened. I'm usually good about finding my way around, but yeah, I think uh, San Mateo Peak is up there. I shouldn't be looking at it from this direction. I should be looking at it from the east, relatively kind of from the east-ish. I'm kind of looking east, east towards it instead of looking west towards it. So I think what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to round the corner. So I know this is going to lead down to where there's some, some ranch property, it looks like. Good morning. morning. I think, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I think I missed the San Mateo Peak Trail. <laughs> no, there's a sign further down. Oh, further down? Yes. Okay, I thought I missed it. Thanks. Appreciate it. Certainly encouraging. <laughs> Guess I hadn't gone far enough. That definitely makes me feel good. I mean, it's not like it's not like it's super hard to find. It's well signed. There's a post 
an, uh, an arrow shaped sign saying San Mateo Peak pointing off to where you go. So, ooh, look at that. Man root or wild, wild spiny cucumber, Mara macrocarpus. It's blooming now. I think it's springtime. And I can smell the slight aroma of ceanothus, too. Some of them are supposed to be very perfumey. This one has more of like a, a rose blossom. I mean, a, not a rose, a, a pear blossom. Now, some people, the pear blossom kind of has a kind of a mild scent. Nothing really, nothing really. Like pear blossoms kind of have a very mild scent. Kind of, kind of reminds me of the smell of a pear blossom. Very slight aroma. Nothing insane. All right. <laughs> Very interesting. Because I remember when I hiked San Mateo Peak, I hiked it from a different direction. This might be just the very. This might be a. This might be a backdoor approach. I don't know. When I was on the Morgan Trail, I do not remember going through the chaparral like this before. Climbing up. And I'm, like, I'm still going downhill right now. <laughs> I have to bust out of water. This might actually be a longer way to get up there, much longer than I anticipated. I'll tell you one thing though. The lack of familiarity sure makes for a nice adventure. I'm not gonna lie, this is this is incredibly beautiful over here. I'm really close. I could see civilization over there. A little ranch community or whatever it is down there. I'm actually really close to it. I bet you probably an offshoot of this trail probably leads you to it. But you know, people who might potentially live over there. That's some pretty good backcountry access to some of these spots, you know. Well, I'm going to keep going and hopefully I'll find that sign soon. See you on the next clip.